822 Guatemalans got their nationalities. 366 from El Salvador, 330 from Honduras, 62 Chinese, and then we have from all over the place, Mr. Speaker. We have from Bangladesh, we have from Spain, we have from Ukraine, we have from Ghana, from Pakistan, from Vietnam, from Brazil, from Romania, from all over the place. There are people that get the nationalities. There was no proper vetting and no proper process was followed. The same thing that Ms. Carla Faber mentioned when she was questioned, Mr. Speaker. If you, you can, can remember... You can, you can respond to him, Minister. If when you can respond you can, to him when he's done. If you can remember, just before the elections in 2012, the media was out here late at night. Do you remember gentlemen up there? They were up there when ministers were carrying bags load of applications. They were taking bags load of applications so they could hurry process these applications. If that is the problem, that whenever we start to speak about the truth, that side they start to holler and say that kind of thing because the truth hurts. Remember. And we know that today we have one of the most corrupt government this country has ever seen by the Mariana colleagues over the other side, Mr. Speaker. Remember. That is why, Mr. Speaker, we are saying, we are saying now that we have to clean up the list. The voters' list needs to be cleaned up. We don't know where these people are. And I can give you examples in, in Cayo. In Kaya West. I'd come to that, my boy. Remember, you can't speak on more than one issue in your I'm talking about this, this whole thing with immigration. Because of the immigration, they have contaminated the voters' list. And it needs to be cleaned up, Mr. Speaker. And because you contaminate the voters' list, democracy up. is at stake. Because democracy is at stake, yes, it's it a never ending country. And I'm saying, yes, it is, Mr. Speaker. You have made your Because point. they need to stop that. You, the point that you wanted to make was that supposedly the government in power stole the election. You have said that. What else is your point? And I'm about? saying that now that voters' list is contaminated and it needs to be cleaned up. That is why they don't want to have a re-registration.